Hi, it's Chester at Blue Peak and Computer Training. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert negative figures to zeros. We'll look at two methods, one with a formula and the other with custom formatting. Let's try the first method with formula. Here are my values, some of which are negative, some of which are positive. Negative values need to become zeros. Positive values need to remain as they are. By far the easiest way of doing this is with the max function max function as its name suggests returns the largest value my first value will be the value in column b second value will be a zero close bracket so if it comes across a negative value zero wins so zero gets returned comes across a positive value then that positive value wins so it gets returned if i copy this down you can see that all the negative values have been replaced by zeros Let's try the format method. So the first step would be to select all the cells that you want to apply the format to. Then to open up the format sales dialog box, use the shortcut key control one. In the format sales dialog box, select custom in this list. Then over here, select zero. After the zero, type a semicolon. And then after the semicolon, type a zero in quotation marks. How this works is that Anything to the left of the semicolon is the format for positive values, and to the right of the semicolon is the format for negative values. So by putting the zero in quotation marks, we're returning a literal zero for negative values. If I click on OK, you can see my negative values are now zeros, but if I look in the formula bar, it hasn't replaced the value with the zero, it's just displaying it as a zero. You can apply the same formatting effect to currency values, for example. If I select these cells, Control-1 to go back to Format Cells, what I can do is choose an existing currency format. Let's choose this one here. We've got a currency symbol and two decimal places. Then what I do once I have that format in the type box is I type in a semicolon and then type in the format for negative values. I'll include pound sign. And then after that, I put in quotation marks 0, 0.00 to match the decimal places in the positive values. Click on OK. And then we have the same effect applied. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found it useful. Please subscribe if you have, and I'll see you next video.